Welcome to a series I'd like to call Soothing Sunday. And over the next couple Sundays, we're going to do the game Unpacking. Uh, full disclosure, I have played this on my free time before, but I figured I'd play it on this channel as well. The game starts out in 1997. Now, I like to start by unboxing everything and putting it on the floor so I can see what I have and then go from there. The reason I'm calling it Soothing Sunday is because I'm going to focus more on relaxing, satisfying type games. And I just, I know my Sims content can get a little crazy, a little loud, a little out there. So I just, I want to give Sundays to be kind of the laid back, relaxing games. And that's not to say there won't be Sims games sometimes. There are some aspects of Sims that I find very relaxing, like uh, decorating. I love that part. So I might start slowly adding that in, but um, I have quite a few of these relaxing games that I have on my computer and I would like an excuse to play them. My schedule's kind of full, so the only time I give to myself to play games anymore is if I'm going to record. <laughs> it is what it is. It's the life of a mom who homeschools and just busy, busy, busy. <laughs> So it gives me an excuse to play, varies up the content a little bit, gives me a chance to film something and voice over something that's a little bit easier. Because uh, sometimes it's nice to just have a soothing tone. Anyway, this is clearly a little kid's room. So I'm going to hide the journal from mom and dad. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but we clearly have the album we're in, that red album. I'm trying to figure out where to put everything. I'm trying to think about it functionally, if, if this was my room. I'm saying little girl, but I think I said little girl, but a little kid. But uh, yeah, anyway, I, that's probably projecting as well. <laughs> Because I was once a young girl. <laughs> anyway, um, just kind of putting things where I would put the- Oh my god, it makes the quacky noise. Anyway, just kind of putting things where I would put them, you know. Line up all the stuffed animals on the bed. I do have OCD, and I like to put things the way I like them. <laughs> Like, uh, for instance, I, I like to line things up by size. So that's really bugging me that I can't quite tell what's, what's what size-wise, and that happens a lot. And apparently there's an issue with Power Wash Simulator. That's, that's great. Not something I'm worried about at the moment, because, uh, well, but we'll get there eventually. I put that poster there. Because when I was younger, I was on the top bunk, and I had posters all over the wall, all over the ceiling. I had a friend that would joke, <laughs> called it the teenage girl's version of a Sistine Chapel. <laughs> so there's that. Um, these look like they were drawn by the kid in this room. So we're going to go ahead and make sure art supplies are kind of right here. I don't like that the crayons are taking up all the space in the drawers. We're going to put them over here for now. But uh, I feel like their main hobby is probably art. I don't know where to put this flashlight. I feel like flashlights should be easily accessible in case of power outage. Tamagotchi's got to be easily accessible. We should have music there at the workstation for sure. And this is me trying to figure out what to put in here. Uh, board games makes sense. Like, you want them to go somewhere. Uh, I feel like the soccer ball would be out. Something to fidget with, something to play with. 
gotta find places to put all this stuff. Those are cassettes. They should go near the radio somewhere. We got a Rubik's Cube. Push that around. Simon, my kid has that game. So many years later, and it's still a popular game. I'm gonna put that trophy somewhere prominent. Gotta have schoolwork on the desk, which is looking kind of cluttered, so I might revisit that. Album's just gonna slip. I feel like the album will be important, more important later on, but for a little kid, I don't think it's super, super important. And all these cool little figurines. I like the double decker bus. Piggy bank. Oh, so close to the edge. Yeah, much better. I got my little ponies. Let's work on these books, maybe. I'm trying to separate them by color, but it's not going to work out that way. And to be honest, I'm predominantly right handed. But for some reason, I usually start the big books off to the left. So that's something that bothers me about this game, because I can't put the big books on the left, or you can't see the little books on the right. Um, again, I do have OCD. I, have, I like things their own particular way. So I have to do this in the reverse order of how I would do it. <laughs> so that's bothersome. But it is kind of nice to be able to sort things out like this in a safe environment and not have to worry about doom piles everywhere. Yes, I know we could be done, but I'm not done. I don't like how cluttered this desk is. Still don't like how cluttered the desk is. have to go somewhere. I'm also rethinking like the Game Boy would probably be out more prominently. I know my Game Boy was always pretty accessible when I was a kid. Yeah, I, I don't like the idea of putting it in there. I like that I can move that. But but it's still messy. It's still messy. What can I do? I put the flash. Oh, that makes sense for a prominent place to put it. And then I could put that there. I love it. Okay. This room, I think, is done. Yeah. It, 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 it's done. It's never going to be perfect. Never. Finally, my own room. I know that feeling. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching, and come back next satisfying Sunday, soothing Sunday for 2004.